Hey everyone, welcome back to the Wood Gas Fire Builders Workshop. All right, so this video we're going to talk about painting. I just got an assembly back from one of our builders, so basically all the welding and fab has been completed. All the sub-assemblies here have been welded, leak tested. So the first step in our assembly is to go through, sort out all the sub-assemblies, and then paint everything. So I'm going to use a two-tone painting system. We're going to do high temperature black. And then I'm going to use uh, glossy green on the uh, not so hot surfaces. So we'll go ahead and uh, get everything set up here and start painting these assemblies and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. All right, so here we're getting set up to do the painting. We've got all the sub assemblies out here. Kind of laid out, getting set up to do the painting. See, I've got the pieces here hanging. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the air compressor and the spray paint. And we're going to use the high heat uh, Rust-Oleum Black. And then we're going to use the Gloss Hunter Green. You can use whatever combination, single or uh, bicolor, uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, one the next thing we're going to do before we paint, I'm going to use this metal blast. It's a really good rust remover. Any rust that's on any of the sub-assemblies, I'm going to use this uh, clean sweep here to take off any stickers off the parts, the metal parts, uh, get everything prepped for the painting. And then I'm going to get the paint gun set up and go ahead and do this. Now the spray gun uh, goes really far. We'll be able to do all this with the pint of black we're going to spray inside and outside on the reactor, inside and outside on the filter, inside and outside on the uh, filter basket, and then all the other sub-assemblies. Typically what I'll do is I'll go ahead and paint everything black, just so that way I don't have to worry about rust coming back. And then what I'll do is I'll clean it up, and then I'll come back, and for the two-tone uh, color, on the reactor, on the outside of the uh, insulation cover, I'll paint that green. I'll typically come back and paint the filter outside green. Uh, I'll do the uh, cooling assembly um, and then maybe the, even the gas exit. Um, I'll do those in uh, the cooler color green and then everything else I'll leave black. And then I'll even paint the fittings. So we've got the three, uh, three inch uh, caps, the two inch cap, the plugs, great, everything. I'll go ahead and and paint that black and get going. Once I get all this painted and let it dry, then we can go ahead and start on the final assembly. All right. All right, so we're back. Okay, so I've got the first base coat of the high temperature black on all the sub assemblies. What goes pretty quick with the air compressor and spray gun. So now we'll let these let these dry and then I'll get the green paint and start putting that on. Alrighty. All right, guys, so we're back. Okay, so now we've got all the uh, sub-assemblies painted and I've started the final assembly here. You can see basically here's where we are with the final paint job. So I've got the two-tone 
green and black. I started on the final assembly. This paint looks pretty good. Now I just need to add the valves, do the wiring, add the blower, air jets, and a few other little parts, and this guy will be ready to go. Uh, put the warning stickers on there, and then we've got another operational wood gasifier. All right, guys. See you on the next one.